It's the biggest rumor in all of wrestling, Roman Reigns returning at SummerSlam. But is it true? As much as I find myself to be the optimist and rooting for the best things possible to happen, I personally, I'm the closer we get to SummerSlam, I am leaning toward probably not. But one of the funnest parts of being a wrestling fan is fantasy booking what could be or what might happen. And since I was doing that on my own, I invited you guys to do the same. I did it over on Twitter. I did it in the YouTube community tab. And you guys came up with some pretty interesting ways for Roman to potentially come back. But I ask you, the viewer, if you would like to participate. So before you hear anything that might you know, influence what you might guess, feel free to jump in the comments and give your guess of if Roman Reigns was returning, how would it happen? This isn't necessarily whether or not you think Roman will or where no. this isn't necessarily whether or not you think Roman will or will not return, but I'm open to that discussion as well. Before I read what you guys sent, I want to give the general idea that I am rooting for. While I might not have the exact details of how I envisioned it happening, I do have a few minor things that if he was gonna return, how I would like it to go down, or at least some details that I would like it to include. First and foremost, I don't want Roman Reigns to return in the classic bloodline fashion where someone rolls up with a hood up, they do some sort of action, and then they take the hood down. For me personally, I don't think that is the best way to appreciate that moment and drive the biggest pop possible. That might work with some other options and some other people that could make a return. Maybe that's something that could happen if Jimmy Uso was the one to return instead. But Roman Reigns has the type of theme that punches right from the beginning. So that punch is exactly what would drive a massive pop and just absolutely make the entire stadium erupt. So yeah, my first detail, I want an entrance. Even if it's a quick one or what, it doesn't need to be his full thing. I want the music to be what welcomes him back. I just really think that would be the best way to create a moment that we'd never forget. Of course, I'm open to alternatives. So if you've got one, let me hear it in the comments. A second detail is I want this to be a return. My second detail I feel is almost equally as important for me. I want the return to be after the match has already had some sort of a decision. My issue with it happening during the match is it invites some sort of solo and Cody long-term feud. And me personally, that's not what I'm here for. I'm interested in Cody, I'm interested in solo, but them together isn't doing a lot for me. Their battles on SmackDown and the attacks at SmackDown, it hasn't really done a ton for me. I would kind of want to just see the title conversation be wrapped up and then I want the tribal chief comp and then I would like to see the tribal chief conversation come into play. And so the secondary portion of that detail is I think that means I want Cody to retain mainly because if Solo wins the title and Roman came back, I feel like that creates a situation where the Roman and Solo feud now has to involve the title. And while that could be interesting, I, I just don't think that's what I would want it to be about. I would really like to see if we were gonna see Solo versus Roman anytime in the near future, I want it to be about the tribal chief. I want it to be about the bloodline, the family. I want it to be something that feels more personal and makes it a little bit tougher to have an idea of what's coming. One of the biggest issues with last year's SummerSlam was that the main event between Roman Reigns and Jey Uso involved the title. If it was just for the Ulufala and just for being the tribal chief, you could have seen it going either way. But the moment they said that it was also for the title, everybody felt pretty comfortable that Roman Reigns was going to win and that kind of deflated the heat that was being built up between Jay and Roman. It would have been a little bit more believable to think that Jay could have beat Roman to take on that role and to challenge him to be the tribal chief. But the second the title gets involved, then it starts making it a little bit easier to tell, okay, well, then we know this is probably only gonna go one way. Now, granted, that might be different when you're talking about Solo as a champion versus Roman Reigns, who was on his insane streak. That could be a little bit different, I admit that. But I stand by it where I want the Solo and Roman situation, the bloodline situation in general, that hopefully leads to some sort of big civil war. I would like that to be based specifically around family matters at that point. Where does that leave Cody? I don't know. I wouldn't have put him in this situation to begin with. So I'm not really sure what you do with Cody at that point. And the last little detail is that if Roman is going to return, 
I don't know how I would feel about Jimmy also showing up at the same time. And this is kind of why I feel like if we're gonna get a bloodline related return, I could see Jimmy being the first one to come back and start to be the first domino that leads to the rest of the bloodline 1.0 reforming. I have more to say on that, but I wanna start jumping into the ones that you guys submitted and then I'll give more of my opinion as we go. AEW disciplinary committee says just for fun, not saying this is what's going to happen, but Jacob runs in and is about to go for Cody after the ref bump and Roman's music hits. He's let out by Paul and doesn't go to the ring, but instead just motions for Jacob to come to him, which he does. The Tongans come out and get attacked by the Usos, leaving Solo open for a crossroads. I like how when you said ref bump, you kind of said it in a way of like, of course there's gonna be a ref bump. I agree, there's gonna be a ref bump at some point. But I do like your idea that Jacob Fatu is actually working for Roman. I've seen this rumor before where he's kind of working as a bit of a spy. He's kind of on the inside. And with the way Jacob Fatu has been portrayed almost like as this enforcer that just obeys a command, goes and destroys something and returns, I think that would actually kind of fit with the way he's being, the way he's acting out his character, but the way he's being booked as well. I think if Roman's music hit and he did some sort of a signal where Jacob Fatu immediately obeyed him, I feel like that would be completely believable within his character at this point. I think the only part where you lose me is when the Usos come out and attack the Tongans. It's not that I wouldn't want to see this. It's kind of like it doesn't really feel at all like the way Triple H has been telling his stories. Triple H doesn't really seem like someone who would jump straight to a, a, a new point where all this stuff is happening and then fill in the blanks later. It feels more like we would get the story of Jimmy returning and Jimmy reuniting with Jay and then maybe even Paul coming back and then bringing back Roman. It really feels like we would go step by step down the line in this Triple H storytelling era. So it's almost like yours would be perfect if to me, if this was about two, maybe three PLEs away where we've been gradually bringing these guys back to form Bloodline 1.0 once again. But overall, I love it. I would pop, I'm gonna be there. I'd, I would lose my voice if this happened. You probably know this by now, but I do have a Patreon. There's a ton of content on there. I have been absolutely pumping out reactions and content that you guys have been submitting. There's also some free stuff over there as well. So you're welcome to head over there, check out the free content and see if maybe the paid content is for you. Back to the video. Botched Booker says Solo and Cody have a very even match, which in a surprise sees Solo pin clean for the title. The new bloodline comes out to celebrate the new tribal chief's victory. And as they are all in the ring holding up the ones, Roman's music hits and he walks out with Paul. I actually think this is near perfect for me. And when I say, by the way, none of these are bad, bad ideas. When I say perfect or imperfect, I kind of just mean in terms of believability from me. It could be believable to you and you might love this. And I do love this. The only part where you lose me a little bit is solo winning cleanly. It's not that I don't think that would make him look good. It would just be kind of out of place. The bloodline doesn't really win clean. I feel like if we were gonna start having the bloodline win clean to look stronger, they wouldn't have been doing it with Roman month after month after month when he was holding the title. Never mind the fact that I also said I wouldn't like to see Solo with the title with Roman returning, but I am completely with you that Solo and Cody having an even match and in some way, some way, shape, or form, I do think Solo needs to come out of this looking strong. If Cody just comes out and beats the heck out of Solo, it would kind of make it feel like Roman returning is just, he's just coming back to run some errands. It, it wouldn't even feel like it'd be a big challenge. I just wish that Solo was feuding with somebody else right now. Wouldn't you feel like if Solo was going up against somebody he could defeat and defeat cleanly and look good doing it, that might be a better setup for an eventual Roman return? You know, that could just be more reason as to why Roman won't be coming back at SummerSlam and that Solo needs more time to, you know, maybe have a feud or two where he ends up coming out on top. But I absolutely love the idea of maybe even Solo closes the show by trying to say, acknowledge me, or maybe he's about to say, acknowledge me and Roman says it or Roman's music, some sort of interruption while he's trying to, you know, kind of take it all in the way he does whenever the uh, Ulu Fala gets put on him or maybe as he's getting put on the music hits, there's there's definitely opportunities where if it was gonna happen, there's some really good moments where the music could interrupt a moment. Superkick Anthony says, I think Roman pops up out of nowhere and spears Solo, allowing Cody to get the pin. 
I do not want to see him make that excruciatingly long entrance. After Cody wins, Roman is standing on the stage, stone cold, straight faced. He doesn't say a word and walks slowly back to the ring. This surprises me, but that's kind of the best part about this. I love seeing the different opinions. I'm really surprised that you don't want to see the entrance there. And I, part of the reason why I do want to see the entrance is I think it gives the opportunity and I, I'm sure you could get this moment in other ways too, but imagine this, just picture for a moment, Roman Reigns is either making his entrance or at some point he says, acknowledge me, right? For whatever reason, Roman Reigns finds a reason to either say, acknowledge me or throw the one up himself or do something to encourage it. Imagine the entire stadium in that moment, throwing the ones up. Something about that for me, having the, having it not feel split, you know, not where a bunch of people are rooting for Cody and a bunch of people might also be rooting for Roman. That would be a moment where it would feel like about 90% of that stadium would acknowledge Roman. And I think that would be a really cool shot. But I will concede that if Roman was going to return without his music, I think you nailed it. I think it would have to be with a spear. I think an unexpected spear you almost have to go to a point where a camera is not even at all showing his side of the ring. Sure, you're going to hear the uh, you're going to hear the crowd start to react a little bit, but you don't really notice that too much until it's too late on TV. But an out of nowhere spear from Roman Reigns, no hood. I'll comp let's compromise. Super kick Anthony. Let's compromise. No hidden hood. Just have him come out as Roman Reigns, Tribal Chief. I don't care if he's wearing it. He can wear his T-shirt. He doesn't have to be in full ring gear, but. Just look like Roman Reigns, spear the guy, stand over him like you say, and yeah, have Cody just kind of sit there holding the title and what do I do here? And then have Roman leave. I like it. I'm I'm with you. If it was going to be without music, I think that's the way to go. Akatsuki, hope I said that right. I can see Cody retaining the title and getting a beat down. The ones who come out first would be KO, who would fight off Jacob. Tama Tonga would come out and get stopped by Orton. Then Tonga Loa would come out to get attacked by Jimmy Uso. And as that is going on, Solo is gonna try and hit Cody with another spike. But then Paul Heyman comes out, he has that smug look in his eye, and then Roman's music hits. Roman runs in the ring and has a brawl with Solo, which ends in Roman Superman punching Solo and hitting him with a spear in the arena, throwing the ones up. Okay, I think you kind of actually patched up some issues I had in an earlier suggestion where it was gonna be uh, Jay returning. I think using KO and Randy Orton is smart here but you just spawned an idea in my head and I'm going to tell you about it in a second. But to address the rest of what you've said, I love the idea of getting Paul involved and I really do just love the idea of this resulting in Roman and Solo duking it out, slugging it out and maybe having to be broken up and have that almost be what closes the show. And then you instantly have a, a must-see Raw uh, coming up or I guess SmackDown, but they'd have to acknowledge that on Raw, right? Okay, but hear me out. You did just kind of give me an idea of how I can maybe address the issue I had earlier where I kind of want Cody to be separated from this bloodline situation, get the title out, moved away from it, and let the bloodline versus bloodline situation cook a little bit. You mentioned Randy Orton. What have we been looking for for some time now? Randy's kind of been hinting at looking at Cody, looking at the title. We've been wanting a Cody versus Randy Orton for some time now. What if Randy does come out to help like you would expect him to? But as things are settling a little bit, if Roman and Solo are having their moment, maybe that's getting cleaned up while Cody is walking out with KO and Randy, or maybe just Randy, maybe KO was found in another situ. I don't know. That's a detail. They'll, they'll figure that part out. But Cody and Randy are walking out and maybe Randy takes that moment to attack Cody. Maybe hits him with an RKO on the ramp. I'm not writing the details of it very well, but you see what I'm trying to communicate here is maybe you find a way to have Roman also turn on Cody here to start something that we've wanted, Cody versus Randy on one side, and then you've got potentially your Roman and Solo heading on the other. Hell, you could even do this if Jimmy returned. If you don't wanna have two big moments side by side sharing the same stage, you could take this night to have Randy turn on Cody while Jimmy's returning. So Jimmy moves the needle forward with the bloodline story of one person coming back and starting the civil war. 
while Randy and Cody start that situation moving toward like bad blood or whatever PLEs are coming up. I can't remember anymore. I think we're cooking here. I want I want some feedback on that one. Maybe make some alterations, but let me know you th what you think of SummerSlam being the night. Maybe Randy Orton starts by helping, but then ends up turning on Cody to kick off that feud. Origin Wrestling says, I would only have Roman return at SummerSlam after Cody beats Solo in a long match that makes Solo look good and Roman and Solo go face to face and Roman says that you're not worthy of being tribal chief. Simple, but effective. I would imagine there'd be some more details than that, but the overall message you're sending, I'm kind of with you. I think it would be cool if the main issue is Roman just simply saying, I don't acknowledge you, which might not seem like a lot to us, but in the Samoan family, it feels like that would be enough to spark a very big feud. I almost wonder if that would need to be a follow-up from a PLE. You don't really see a lot of people pick up a mic during a PLE and say something like that, but maybe that would be a situation where after he's made some sort of a return, uh, the next SmackDown, maybe Roman would officially not recognize Solo as his tribal chief. Maybe at that point, the new bloodline is putting the beat down on Roman and that eventually baits out Jimmy to come help. And then those two aren't enough. So then maybe Jay comes out and maybe that's not enough. And Sammy come, yeah, we're, we're, we're booking far ahead, but it's exciting. Abs Ali says, Cody wins, the bloodline attack him after the match. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Paul Heyman, and I am the wise man to the reigning, defending, undisputed tribal chief Roman Reigns. Okay, I will agree that the only thing that I think would create a similar pop to Roman's music hitting would be a sudden and unexpected Paul Heyman on the microphone to introduce him. How exactly you would do that, I'm not really sure, but I I wanted to throw this in here because you did bring up something I hadn't really thought of. It would be cool to see Paul Heyman be the voice you hear that kind of makes you go, is it time? Ryan says, I don't think he's gonna lay a finger on anyone when he comes back. I think he will be at a moral crossroads for his character on if he pursues getting the title back or rebuilding the bloodline but he will be enough of a distraction for Solo to help Cody retain. I personally don't see a world where Roman helps Cody right off the bat. I'll admit, I've had some fantasy fantasy booking moments in my head where I'm like, wouldn't it be kind of cool if at some point Roman and Cody had to join forces to stop the Bloodline 2.0 from doing something crazy? But I also, I understand that's probably extremely crazy. I don't think we see Cody and Roman work together for anything, maybe ever. But I did want to include this because I like what you brought forward. The idea of a moral crossroad where Roman's not sure if he wants to go after the tribal, tree, the tribal chief situation, or does he let the same mistake happen again like he did at WrestleMania? Does he get distracted by something like Cody Rhodes having his title? I guess it would come down to how the character is going to be written of which is going to come off is more important to determine which would be the distraction. But personally, I wouldn't want to see him go back after Cody. It would feel like, uh, I don't know, just feel like it, we're back to spinning our tires in place. We're right back to Roman versus Cody. We just did that. And I feel like both of them are fully capable of doing really cool big feuds that don't involve each other. And that includes Cody not having to be involved with the bloodline. Plus we know the rock wants to come after Cody with the title. And we know that's probably going to happen at some point. They made a big deal of it in the raw after mania. I just, Cody can go do other things. He doesn't need to be stuck with the bloodline here, in my opinion, while we're waiting for whenever that might happen. You think Roman's gonna return? And if you do or don't, just give me your best fantasy booking down below. Tell me, I don't care how crazy it is. Honestly, this kind of stuff is just what makes wrestling really fun to talk about. It's probably not gonna happen, but what's really fun to do is talk about what we would do if, if you told me that I was booking SummerSlam and I needed to book a way for Roman to return, you know, how would you do it? So give me the answer to that question down in the comments. Make sure you subscribe, check out the Patreon, the Twitch. I'm just about everywhere nowadays. Thank you so much to the patrons that are flying up the screen and I will see you guys in the next one.